Hello, this is Kaimana and happy Pokemon Day! We got ourselves the Pokemon Presents coming up in a few minutes, and hopefully some exciting announcements will come from it. I'm personal. the main thing I'm expecting is Scarlet and Violet DLC. There are a few other things I think would be fun. Pokemon Tournament 2 or would be exciting, but I think a bit unlikely right now with Tekken 8 coming. Um, Maybe some news on Detective Pikachu 2, or the Switch port, what, whichever one they're doing it is. Uh, I really want NSO games to be added. But yeah, it should be exciting and it will be starting in the next few minutes. Alright, it is almost that time for the presents. Oh, right, we have to do the whole YouTube premiere thing. All right, that that looks like it sounds good. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Oh gosh, it's the weird Pikachu doll from the last time. February 27th is Pokemon Day. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan, marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered. And now we're at now it over a thousand. To over 1,000. To all you trainers around the world who have journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years, we are so thankful for your support. In today's presentation, we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. Wait, I thought this was about Mario. I'd like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championship. Okay. First ever to be held in Japan. Really? Mr. Chris yeah, Brown, I guess that's right. Take it away. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International. I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon World Championships. This past year in London, more than 10,000 trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Thank you to all the trainers who made the London World Championships our largest ever, and congratulations again to our newest world champions. Now I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. The 2023 Pokemon World Championships will be held in Japan for the very first time. We That's kind of crazy, it's never been in Japan, Pokemon but also, games, like the fact that training card games, it's the home country, and essentially. Pokemon Unite. August 11th to 13th at the Pacifico Yokohama. For more than a decade, we have created special artwork to honor each location that makes the World Championship experience unique. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. The World Championships is so special because of how our community from around the world comes together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, be sure to catch all the action on our live broadcasts all weekend long. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later this year. 
Moving on, please have a look at this video. Is this Detective Pikachu? Is this for the trading card game? Yeah. I do like the new pieces. I remember before having to use those little just cardboard t or take or like little cylinders that would all just everywhere. Oh, interesting. Re-releasing re Charizard. Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last a lifetime. Created by the design firm Nendo, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company. That looks nice, though. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championship. So I hope you will all come check it out. Next, we'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Interesting. Is this for the anime? For the kind introduction. Hi everyone. My name is Min Young Kim and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you for having us here today, and I'm thrilled to share how we're bringing Pokemon and Netflix together. And I know the current anime is currently on there. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the world. And so today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, The Pokemon Concierge. We have a group of experts here in Japan Alrighty. who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. And we are dedicated to adapting fan-favorite stories and manga into extraordinary shows. There you should just turn Pokemon so, Adventures into an anime. We're excited to marry an entirely new storyline that expands the Pokemon universe with groundbreaking stop-motion animation. Oh, that sounds like it's going to be cute. New world to life, we've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. The series, which will be set at the Pokemon Resort, follows the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. We hope you enjoy today's first look at the Netflix series Pokemon Concierge, and we can't wait to share more with you. Kokoa. ポケモンリゾートポケモンたちがお客様として訪れる場所ポケモンリゾートポケモンたちがお客様として訪れる場所ポケモンリゾートポケモンたちがお客様として訪れる場所ポケモンリゾートポケモンリゾートポケモン
and Masters and Cafe Mix. The five on five strategic team battle game Pokemon Unite. Trying to think if there's anything else. Oh. Neat. Yeah, I don't really play Unite anymore. I played a very small bit when it first came out and haven't really touched it since. Oh, look at the Dapper Dog. Cafe Mex, I'm guessing? Or a new mobile game? Oh, small hoof. Yep. What's this? Seems the aroma of our newest dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, we meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Huecoco, and Quaxley whip up plenty of servings of the new Paldea dish and bring delight to your Pokemon visitors. Why isn't it a sandwich, though? Event, and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. Which one will you choose? To celebrate Pokemon Day in Pokemon Cafe Remix, we're also giving away a special in-game Great Chef outfit for Greninja. And there's more. You can now deliver to a whole array of five-star chef Pokemon that have appeared in the past. To celebrate this special development, you can enjoy a bonus 11 times express delivery right now without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Master ZX. I hope you're ready. Here we come. Those with the strongest convictions will win. I'm not gonna let you win. Shine on. Shall we begin? Mystery! At once! Let's go! Hi. Come on! Alright! My wish is for Galos trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. I want to be as strong as Lee! No, I'm going to be even stronger! Pink is all well and good, I suppose. But I think I'll cover you in the color of feet. Let me show you the power of Spike Man. I want to be the Come one on. who I like the outfits. The champion. Let's get this started. Moving on, please have a look at this video.
All right, it's just dramatization. We don't have to freak out. Oh, Pokemon Sleep, finally? God, they announced this, like, I forgot how even long ago they announced this was gonna be a thing. I should have just looked, looked and see why the hell is, the heck is there a slow bro with me. Yeah, th this is still apparently a thing. We know we've kept you all waiting. But at last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. To get a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. All right, Welcome sleep deep to dive. Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. On this island, you'll find great big Snorlax and Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon Sleep. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. If you leave your smartphone... Uh, good old Pokemon. Uh, or you, you got people walking again with Pokemon Go. Now you're trying to get good sleep habits. Once that's done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. Dozing, snoozing, or slumbering. Pokemon that tend to sleep in the same way as you did will gather around Snorlax. As you keep this up, you might even discover some rare in-game sleep styles that most will never see. It seems that each species of Pokemon has several sleep styles. I feel like I'm a goofy style. Get lots of sleep and try to find them all. Enjoy going to sleep and waking up each day as you research the sleep styles of Pokemon together with Snorlax. By using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest. I really hope we at least get something Pokemon with NSO. At least announce Pokemon Coliseum coming. Devices later this year. We know it's coming. Next, we'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse of. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus. This is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. It is a new next, device. Next year it's going to be the Pokemon Go Plus Plus Plus. And Pokemon Go. Very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Press the button when you are going to bed. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. Just like that, your sleep data has been measured. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. It can sing you lullabies. Grow friendlier the more sleep you get together. Even unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like you're cuddled up to catch some bees with Pikachu. So it's an alarm clock that will cost me like, I don't know, $50. Without even pulling out your smartphone, you can automatically spin Pokestops and throw regular Pokeballs at Pokemon. And now you can choose to throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls as well at the press of a button. 
There are future plans to add new functionalities that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Stay tuned for more. What do you think? The Pokemon Go Plus Plus device should be available to purchase in July. And by linking the Pokemon Go Plus Plus to your Pokemon Go game, you'll get access to special research in Pokemon Go that will allow you to encounter a Snorlax wearing a night cap. Look forward to more news to it's come too big about for his Pokemon head. Sleep and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. And next, we turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Are you fixing the, the game? Games in the Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. Oh, what? They're not DLC? New Paradox Pokemon have been found in the Paldea region. Interesting. I, I would have absolutely thought they would have been Pokemon DLC. Scarlet, while Iron Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terror Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as soon as preparations are complete. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, and other trainers to take on this challenge. The games will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. All right. In Pokemon Go, you can receive Wait, by Go. Friends I thought it, visiting he said home around the world. for a second. These gifts come with postcards. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game, and you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based on the postcard's location data. And on the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul in that game. Try to collect 999 Gimme Ghoul coins to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon. So Black I wonder what the game. DLC will be then if it doesn't include then those you'll two. Be able to bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul that you've caught in Pokemon Go. To Pokemon Scarlet oh, we can Pokemon actually Violet catch him now. Pokemon Home. Neat. We hope you look forward to it. And finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with you. All right, I'm guessing this will be the actual Please DLC. Please have a look at this. Are we going to Kalos or Atlantis? Okay, well, just from those socks, yeah, def definitely Scarlet and Violet. Apples, the third region. We got oranges, grapes, and now apples. Maybe not DLC? Oh, is this the Atlantis place? Oh no, I'm guessing that was wave one, wave two. Okay, so wave one's like a festival, wave two's a big tournament. The 
indigo disc. Oh yeah, I like the back. So fall and winter. DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero will be released in two parts, with part one, The Teal Mask, coming in fall 2023. Part two, The Indigo Disc, will be distributed in winter 2023. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. In part I like one the art. Of the Teal Mask, you'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. So is that and what that little two, massive Indigo land Disc, is? You'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. It would have just made too much sense for them to add Kalos. You'll be able to encounter some familiar Pokemon. Also, no idea if Game Freak could even make it make it happen. The legendary Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask, and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please look forward to a new story that will unfold in two parts as you discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. Already. The hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation ends. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set. And Dang, of course the first thing is new outfits. Violet game. As an early purchase bonus, we've also prepared a special Oh, Hisuian Zoro arc, nice. You to claim a special Hisuian Zoro arc for your in-game team. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. <laughs> what did you think? Of course, the only way to get new clothes is the DLC. As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Well, would I say I overhyped myself? Yes, definitely, absolutely. Like I I just wanted something else that wasn't a mobile game. And I got only mobile game stuff and Scarlet and Violet. Uh That was alright. I got no issues with that presentation. Uh Yeah, that was definitely a Pokemon Presents.